you know, how do I know this reality is virtual? What's the proof? Well, just one of the ways, there's, there's several ways, and science has a whole bunch more that are technical, but it's all the ways that scientists are now finding out that this is a virtual reality. Those are all the ways that tell you it's virtual. But let's just do something simple that everybody knows. What about your World of Warcraft guys? Let's say the World of Warcraft elves all get together and they try to figure out where did their universe come from? What would they find? They would find that it just happened one day. I mean, there wasn't anything, and then it was. And here we were, right? That's what they'd find out. <laughs> memory, memory goes right back to a certain place, and then it's a wall. You can't tell what happened. And if they were honest as Fredkin, they'd say, well, it must have come from other, because we can't, it didn't create itself, and, and they would be right. The other would be the server out in what we call the physical matter of reality, you say, would be the source. Well, when we go back to our to the beginning, we get to a big bang. There's nothing on the other side of that big bang. Suddenly there was just this ball of, of plasma and it was, you know, and then we had a universe. Sounds the familiar. Ball, universe. <laughs> yes. And I said, what happened there? Well, hey guys, there was a simulation. They started with this little ball of energy, a rule set some constants, mm. and they threw the, the run button. When they hit that run button, <laughs> through the switch, it started to evolve. That was the bang. Launch. That was the, that was the bang, yeah. In other, the run button was hit, and the evolution started. You see, that's where it comes from. So if you look at our own case, it's the same thing. You get right back to, yeah, I can see it started back at this point, but then you hit the wall. It's impossible, logically, for it to anything else to be on the other side of that. Not from here, anyway. Right, it has to like be from said, somewhere it has else. to be from other. Okay, so you get back to the same place the elves got to. Right. Well, it just seemed to all of a sudden <laughs> start here, and it must have come from other. You see? So if this were an objective, material, deterministic universe, it wouldn't have a launch point like the Big Bang. It wouldn't have a moment where there was nothing and then there was everything. No, it wouldn't, you see. It would have always been or has see, some other objective cause type. It can't. Type you see, the point is there's a logical impossibility there. Right. You can't have a physical reality that just goes on because there is no start point. Right. See? <laughs> oh, it's just always been that way. Yeah, right. Well, what was, you know, be a little more specific about it's always been that way. Well, what you get to is that it has to start from nothing. So you get there. There is no starting point. Right. Well, the physical reality always just comes from the physical reality, which just came from this physical. It's always been a physical reality. That's BS. You right. see, that's a belief. That sounds like somebody telling you, you know, about how you ought to go to church on Sunday. Right. You know, that's a belief. Because. That's not. Because they say so. Yeah, exactly. That's not the, that's not science. Right. So that's the point. You cannot justify a physical material reality's beginning. That's very funny because everyone it can't have a beginning. Everyone thinks that that's the more conservative, realistic, <laughs> yeah, down to earth thing. That there was just right. always this, but it, that's actually more intellectually inconsistent than it, this it, seemingly it far out. Uh, it's back to third grade logic. You right, see? right. That's in the same category <laughs> as well. Yeah, okay, it is virtual, but it computed itself. <laughs> It's the uh. basics that slip us up now.